Okay, here we are. Long awaited. I finally got that controller in. The Windwing PTO2. Should have been in last week, but they sent it all the way to Memphis, and then for some crazy reason, FedEx sent it all the way back to China. And they sent it back to me again, which I got today, so needless to say, I was a little frustrated. Anyways, I'm going to do a quick unboxing, then we're going to go over all of the um, buttons, listen to what's going on with them, and that's going to be shot as well. And then I'll do something, do a video on when this gets hooked up. Simple enough. I'm psyched. I've been wanting this thing, man. I've been waiting a year since they discontinued the last one. I have been waiting a year for this to come out. So I'm pretty happy. We'll be back. Okay, I figured I'd save you the pain of watching me cut through the 10 layers of tape on it. So as normal, or as always, Wing Wing does a great job at packaging. Okay, it comes with the probably looks like a 15 degree angled mount. I've already got something ready and waiting for that. It comes with a variety of screws and also with some cable holders, which is a good thing to have. A little wrench, an Allen key, which I really didn't need, but I'll take it. I guess these are for if you want to stick it to the desk, which isn't going to happen. It's getting mounted. And a USB, looks like 2.0 cable. It's probably, I want to say maybe five feet, maybe, five, yeah, maybe five, six the longest onward. And what we've been waiting for, yeah, and I'm using this handheld mic, so bear with me. I do most of my videos. I don't even bother using my Sony camera no more. I do most of my videos on my iPhone, which is the brand new. I just got this one actually today, got it set up. It's the 15 Pro. Figured I'd shoot this on that. It's got a new camera that supposedly captures better video. I didn't do a review on it because I don't know a lot about that. So let me get this pulled out of the box and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we are, fine looking piece. It's got some little warning tags on it was kind of wondering about that in the picture that I seen and it basically says don't commit acts of violence or it will cause the switch column to break I guess they're saying you know don't get pissed off and smack it off of somebody's head but I'm sure they probably mean beating it around but it sounds pretty funny acts of violence I'm not gonna take it out and whip it at somebody and I guess these are made to come off, but in the meantime, they're kind of stuck on there. So let's take a look at all this. For some reason, the flap switch, it it seems to be gold. I guess they did it just so it would, they could distinguish it from the other ones for some reason. It is a different shape than the other ones, so let's, let's, hear, let's hear some stuff. Sounds nice and solid. Sounds good. Okay, that one's that one's quiet because you have to pull it up. That's different. Okay. Nice and solid. Three-way switch two-way switch nice clean sound to that what we got here with the pack and brake I don't think that they would have made it work exactly like the pack and brake on that you would use on the panel in the DCS game or even in the real one but it would have probably caused them to make this box would have had it been a little bit longer because of the type of equipment they would have had to use so let's take a look and see what it does if it clicks I don't know which way yet so basically it turns left and right I'm not sure what it does doesn't turn left and right when you pull it out So it seems like basically what the switch does, the handle, 
is by pulling it out or in, depending on however you want to do it, would lock or unlock the pack and brake on the, the plane. Let's check out the hook and the wing fold. So it does have a turn and a push. I guess the push would be the lock or the release. Okay. So it doesn't pull out in and out, which is fine. Let's turn it sideways so I can try the other hook. So with the with the hook it locks when it's forward you have to pull it up it slides into a center spot we'll watch that and then it slides all the way forward to get it to move up and down again you have to pull it out it locks there slightly it's kind of almost like the throttle where you can push through from what I from what I'm looking at so now we're locked in the other position let's see what happens when we push it so there it is it pushes through let's listen to some of the buttons these right here look like rubber buttons they're not from what I took a quick look at tells you just where the flat positions are and we have over here your jettison select so you can individually select what pylon weapons or whatever it is that you want to eject off of the wings or under the body of the plane they all sound good and the last thing we're going to take a look at here is the select jettison button so I'm a little bit confused so this is for stores and this may be for pylons so they may be different switches push to jettison very smooth and very quiet now I've already looked at the body of this and it's not metal like the last PTO that they made but it's a very very heavy duty plastic it's it's thick and it's heavy I'd say it weighs probably three pounds at least I can put it on my scale and really check it but let's take a look at the bottom okay I don't want it to move and fall you can see where the little tabs are that will hold on your USB-C that may be a little light that comes on and we have little brass fittings so you can adjust where you want these to go and, and you know whatever position you want to put it so you can put two in close, two far apart, however your setup may be, or you can get a bracket and put it to the desk. So this is where I'm going to wrap it up here before I get this hooked up. Once I get it hooked up and all configured, we'll take a look at how everything works. So we'll be back. Don't forget to like and sub if you enjoy this video. I know it's not a lot of work for anybody watching this video to do but believe me it means a lot to the channel it really really helps me a lot to keep this channel going so just hit that like button okay so here we are back again I just got it hooked up we'll take a look at that in a second but a couple things I did find out is it seems with the app now the numbers on all the buttons they're highlighted in blue to let you know just make it easier to see so that's a little different with the update that I just did and as far as the hook and see how it changes and the push 
there's a button down down button again um, I'm sorry that's the wing spread and with the hook again it locks when it's all the way up you pull it straight it locks into place and it goes straight down it has to be pulled out to go back up again nice the emergency parking brake I wasn't sure if by rocking it back and forth it did anything but it is it does some type of control as you can see it lights up to the left to the right push in you get the upper light green down the probe for fueling down up up works nice anti-skid is a bigger knob which you pull out up it's a two position but you have to pull it out flaps three position just like on the Orion 2 launch bar two position taxi lights two position hook bypass two position the push to jettison and there's a master caution light you push that and I guess if you have a master caution going it will silence it for a bit and as far as the landing gear going down you have to pull it not too hard either just give it a little pull center position forward okay so that's how lights work okay well I dim the lights the green is a pretty tough color this fluorescent type green is a pretty tough color to video but as you can see the knobs pull out up forward pull up locks it in the center down jettison shows you every movement and push button left and right it is buttons I don't exactly know what you do with buttons on emergency parking brake is because you can't turn it left and right pull it out it doesn't work that way so kind of weird but it looks good once again all the switches really do sound nice you can see if you turn the lights on all the time what happens I don't think I'd want to ride it with the master light on so I'd probably stay with lights off and sync it with DCS and it would come on so I'm not gonna sweat that now okay we'll be back when I get this thing set up in the controls